What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I am back with another banger, another word. Okay, so listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is God Said Surprise. God Said Surprise, okay? And so God led me to scripture. He led me to 1 Corinthians 2 9, okay, where it says, However, as it is written. Now, wait a minute, because that's the part that really got me, okay? Is it says, however, as it is written, as it is written, as it is already done, child, listen. He says, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, okay? The things God has prepared for those who love him. The key words here is as it is written. And then it says the things God has prepared, okay? Not the things that we have to figure out. Not the things that we have to stress for, okay? But the things that God has prepared for those who love him, okay? And so listen. So God led me to that scripture. And um, it just blessed my soul. So two days ago, as I was leaving one of my appointments... Um, I'm driving out and literally I see a Tesla car and on the license plate, license plate, it just said upgrade. It said upgrade. Okay. And I was like, God, I already did, you know, like a video on upgrade. And he was like, no, there's more. There's more. Okay. So that's your testimony. There's more. There's more coming. Okay. There's more. Okay. What no eye has seen and what no ear has heard. And so as I was making this video, God led me to a dream that I had um, this past week. And so I was on a private jet. Um, it was only a few of us. I want to say it was probably only like four or five people on the plane, okay? And so we're driving to the destination. And what happens is the pilot, the one who was driving, which I never got to see, um, he begins landing, but when he lands, he lands on this beautiful body of water. Like the water was like crystal clear. You've never seen it before, okay? And so he he begins to land the plane on the water. And so, you know, me, I'm scared because I'm like, oh my goodness, like we're on water. But what happens is literally we begin just gliding on the water. Like the plane didn't sink, the plane didn't crash. It was just perfect landing. And he just begins to like glide on the water before he brings us to the destination, right? The land. And so um, as we're landing, you know, I'm scared. But as we begin gliding in the dream, I just remember my mind was like blown because I was like, oh my goodness, like I've never seen this before. I've never been on a plane, you know, that just glides on water. Um, and so it blew my mind in that moment. But I was also so joyful and so happy to A, see something I've never seen before. Um, and to be, to just experience, to be in that moment at the right time, at the right place to experience something that has never happened to me. Okay. And so, um, so we were just gliding. So when I asked God, like what the gliding part meant, God said, you are going God said, this is your season where you are going to coast, okay? He said, this is your season where you are going to coast. And to coast means to just proceed effortlessly, okay? Just to proceed effortlessly. And so this is the season where literally all you're going to do is just be trusting God. And the more that you trust God and the more that you put things in God's hands, the same way that I was trusting the pilot that was driving um, the private jet, okay? The more that you do that, you're going to... Uh, you're going to allow God to bring you into places, into spaces, into circumstances um, where he is going to land you, okay, in certain places that don't even make sense, where he is going to place you in certain rooms that don't even make sense, where he is going to connect you with certain people and resources that don't even make sense, but it's going to be the most beautiful experience because it's something that you've never seen before. It's something that you've never experienced before. It's something that has never been done before, okay? And so, um, that's why God led me to the scripture where no eye has seen, where no ear has heard, okay? The things that God has prepared for those who love him. And so um, on the private jet, once we began um, um, stop gliding on the water, then he took the plane. First of all, it was crazy because the plane turned into a plane, but the bottom of the plane kind of turned into a boat where we were like gliding, okay? And so listen... Hold on, let me just stay focused because I feel the Holy Spirit about to shift. Listen, actually, let me just do what he about to do. And so listen, in the season, okay, where you might be um, 
in a certain place one way you have to give god room come on holy spirit you have to give god room in order to do what he needs to do in order to transform things um in a way that only he can see that will benefit us in the long run okay and so for me in the in the back seat i couldn't see how landing a plane on water was going to benefit us but from the pilot's point of view the pilot knew that the plane would transform the bottom the bottom half of the plane would transform from a plane into a boat okay he knew what was already equipped he knew the plane that he was driving he knew the functions of the plane he knew what the plane was capable of doing thank you lord and God knows what you are capable of handling. God knows what you are capable um, of what rooms you are capable to step into. And so you have to trust his plan, okay? Listen, child. So what I wanted to say was um, once the plane stopped gliding, the plane um, then began to land, okay? It landed on land. And the land was just beautiful land, okay? It was just gorgeous and it landed. And so... Um, the thing that I wrote down was um, all I had to do was trust the, the driver and trust that he would get us to the beautiful destination that he promised that he would take us to, okay? And so that's your word today is that you have to trust God and to know that he is going to bring you into that beautiful destination that he has already promised that he would bring you into, okay? And so listen, it's going to be a surprise. God is saying surprise. God is saying there's more. He's like, no, there's more, my child. There's more I want to pour out to you. There's more that I want to give you. There's more that I want you to see, okay? This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning, okay? And so listen, child, I pray that you are able to receive this blessed and prosperous word. I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye.